Twitch.tv is by far the worst website that I have ever used in my entire life in terms of broadcasting video games and honestly just broadcasting in general because anytime that I hear anything bad about Twitch or anytime that I personally use it and just get nothing out of it, I am only left with what could have been instead of what it is. There are many many problems with this website for me personally and other problems that i've seen through other users and sometimes other people are the problem so when it comes to twitch honestly it depends on the person it could be a blessing or it can be a curse but generally speaking through my experience it's honestly the biggest curse and biggest waste of time that i have ever experienced and i think i'm better off because as it is right now as of 2024 i have effectively close down the channel until my overall situation has been improved until i can get an audience until i can get an actual source of income because god forbid i can't have an actual job no the whole situation needs to be better because right now i rather just bang my head on the wall than actually plug in press the button and do the job there are many problems that i have with this website and the biggest one and i'm pretty sure a lot of people can resonate with this is the discoverability there is practically no discoverability on this website whatsoever and you have to rely on either youtube or social media whether it be facebook instagram twitter whichever it doesn't matter what does matter is that you gain some sort of attention before you even remotely think of making a twitch channel and then you start earning those subscriptions and donations bits whatever currency that twitch wants to add and this pressures a lot of people into just getting their image out there and and that is by far the worst thing that anyone could ever do is that they would just go above and beyond just to get themselves out there even if it takes drastic measures now for me personally i had to take those drastic measures i used a website called twas.gg where i basically had to pay just for viewership and even then that's only temporary and i'm pretty sure those are nothing but botted accounts and people who show up and either advertise themselves to force you to pay even more money or they're just people who have some weird username that isn't any type of language in the human tongue and just pounce on some nonsense sometimes in different languages so it's bad enough that you're basically not getting anything out of it and have to resort to paying for viewership but you also get those idiots who show up and say i'm very sorry but i was hoping that you could spend more money to get actual viewerships and follows people like me we're trying to gain a followership through normal means and aside from the fact that we're already wasting money on viewership these bots show up and then they say you can get followers if you spend more money and then no see we rather play this game the best way that we can but what's the point if we're not getting anything out of it so discoverability honestly it sucks and twitch has done absolutely nothing to fix this issue it's always the popular people who show up on the front page and that to me is the worst fucking thing that anyone can have the displeasure of experiencing so much so that there is a website dedicated to people who absolutely stream with zero people i have discovered this and it pains me to see all these people who just play the game who have absolutely no viewership who are getting absolutely nothing out of it it's honestly just disheartening to see all that so for anyone that streams with zero people or just doesn't really care about viewership at all i applaud you because it takes a lot of willpower it takes a lot of willpower and compassion to just do whatever you want all for the low low cause of absolutely no viewership or nothing coming in the mail so discoverability in twitch is awful but i think what's just as bad are some of the streamers who honestly have no humanity in them and to sum this up perfectly I'm just going to classify this as bad streamers. These are people who basically have no kindness, no compassion, no consideration. They are rotten to the core and they only exist just to have your money. And these people don't really do much. Rather, it's just sitting in front of a camera and just talking about bullshit. Or is just them doing stupid shit that they're not supposed to do. Or just being greedy motherfuckers who's just yelling at people just so they can spend money on something that really matters. Rather it be shelter, food, or electricity 
electricity, whatever. Like, I know all of that is important, but you don't have to sound like a greedy asshole just to get the money going. And on a personal standpoint, I honestly feel that way. That, yeah, it is frustrating when money doesn't come in, but I'm not gonna sound it off saying everyone is a stupid motherfucker who didn't even bother to send money. It's like, first of all, is their money. They can do whatever the hell they want with it. And second, you need to earn that money because you're not just gonna sit in front of a camera and yell at people saying that you need to subscribe to the channel to keep the ad revenue going or whatever the hell, okay? That is their money and they are free to use whatever it is that they want to use however they want. So, I already know this rule. You have to earn your way up instead of just demanding it all the time but it is excruciating that when you stream for more than a year or two and then there's absolutely no money coming in bonus points because you're not an affiliate on twitch where you basically need a hundred followers and you need to stream for a certain amount of time so the demand for affiliate to get subscriptions is already taxating on the body but combined with the fact that nobody is showing up and no one is spending their hard on money on some random ass people that they may not know about or maybe they have yet Yet to like the person then yeah that's a challenge in and of itself so when it comes to people who are just greedy stubborn selfish narcissistic these people don't deserve anything they don't deserve a viewership they don't deserve to be recognized the one thing that they deserve is to know the pain and struggle of actually getting a real job hope you like scrounging around linkedin like i do because honestly that's gonna be on a daily basis go find a real job you dirty scumbags so if it's not people who are just bad at streaming is people who make bad decisions and I'm mostly going to refer people who have no morals and honestly that's Twitch's problem overall there is no morality Twitch has no morals whatsoever people can just show up and do a bunch of stupid shit on this website even so much as make pornography on this channel some dumb bitch got caught having sex on camera you can actually see her stroking up and down almost as if she's grinding on someone's dick and then she gets busted and then she gets banned for like what seven days i think but she's up and going after that so the ban just meant nothing she was not banned indefinitely she was not given any sort of copyright strike no repercussions were handed out no after she basically made pornography on twitch uh she got banned for how many days and then she's right back to where she started so it's bad enough that people are basically using twitch as a way to expose themselves and not the good kind but it wouldn't surprise me if they just used it to basically film whatever dumb shit that they're doing and they're basically committing crimes because of it now granted i've heard horror stories about what happens on another website called kick where people do a whole bunch of dumb shit just get recognition and they end up getting arrested because of it but twitch i've heard some stories here and there about people doing dumb shit either in the chat messages or just on camera but to be quite honest with you and i think this is just not even a twitch problem at this point this could also be just a general streaming issue uh morality is at its lowest when it comes to the internet people just have no morals or standards and they'll just do whatever dumb shit just for the sake of views and just completely neglect their own safety and health so for them it doesn't matter if they commit crimes it doesn't matter if they turn twitch into a porn website no it doesn't really matter they'll just use whatever website possible just to gain whatever recognition just for the sake of fame fortune or popularity so yeah the lack of morality is an issue but speaking on the uh, terms of money um the one thing that i hate about twitch more than anything are the ads ads are by far the most annoying thing that I have ever experienced on the internet and Twitch is definitely no exception. I hate ads so much and Twitch loves them so fucking much that they are literally targeting ad blockers just so I can sit through a 30 minute ad on products that I absolutely do not give a fuck about. And the fact that I have to keep scrounging around the internet just so I can find a new ad blocker or find some other method to make an existing ad blocker work is so fucking annoying to the point where I'm literally just punching my goddamn door out of anger because they really love their ads so much that they're forcing people to watch them. And for me personally, I opted out ads because I fucking hate ads. I'd rather have people and myself just jump into whatever broadcast is going on or anything for that matter 
better and just tune in that way that way i won't have to waste 30 seconds looking at some bullshit that for one isn't skippable and two is completely irrelevant why the hell do i ever want to watch a goddamn robot chicken mcdonald's ad for 30 seconds i still remember that shit and it was fucking annoying i i absolutely fucking hate ads on anything rather be twitch or youtube or anything like i know that's a source of income but there's other alternatives to make money and sitting through a 30 second ad is not the way to go i don't give a fuck if it brings in money okay as someone who already hates money because they need money for everything in this fucking world playing ads just make it worse especially when people are literally getting money through other means in the first place people are getting donations bits subscriptions and then here comes twitch with twitch turbo whatever that is and this is supposed to be the method that eliminates ads you have to spend even more more money than you already do on this website just to get rid of ads no fuck you asshole rotten purgatory now despite all of the negativity that i just listed there are actually some positives in this website that even i personally experience there are people who do speed runs they do charities in the right way possible there are musicians there are talented singers people can be talented and they can express said talent on twitch but overall this website if you don't have the discovery if you don't have any sort of portfolio to back it up if you don't have anything to go with you're just walking into this completely naked with nothing on you you gotta have something in twitch and unfortunately that's just the honest to god truth people who boot this up people who go to twitch and just live stream with the best of their abilities and get nothing out of it is not only disheartening but it's also a giant waste of time and i ain't been all over the internet searching up topics just to make the streams better and when it comes down to it, that is another issue that I have with Twitch. It's too demanding. When it comes to live streams, you gotta make sure that you have the best equipment possible. And when I started, I had a 2070 Super Laptop that honestly did most of the job, but it couldn't do everything. I couldn't stream emulators and that OBS up at the same time. Couldn't play my PC games at a high frame rate. I could play most indie games just fine, but oftentimes it would just crap the bed. It's bad enough that you have to waste money getting all the PC components that you need, rather be an actual computer or a monitor. I I recommend using a PC because getting a laptop is honestly not going to do the job the way you want it to. And also you got to put up with all the audio equipment, getting a microphone, getting a capture card. That's more money that you have to dedicate to just to make this work. Then there comes the personality. People like personalities that makes them come back to that person every now and again. And not everybody is going to be sunshine and rainbows, yours truly. So don't think you're just going to walk into Twitch and then all of a sudden you're going to see some awesome vtuber with big tits or someone who looks all handsome and shit in front of a camera or some lady who's just spending her time in a jacuzzi just doing whatever everyone is not going to be as nice and compassionate as you think they are so be mindful of that but outside of that there also comes naming the broadcast that you're streaming that to me is probably one of the problems that i have personally is just naming the streams and honestly i keep hearing the tutorials over and over and over again create a name of the stream that's going to draw people in you should always be talking you should have this bright and positive attitude all of that just isn't me for me personally what you see is what you get and for other people they can name their streams whatever they want but that's still not going to guarantee that they're going to get a big ass viewership because they also got to bring in that positive charisma they got to make sure that the broadcasting is top notch it looks presentable but for me isn't playing the game just enough why do i have to go out of my way just to get all these borders and all these fancy ass animations for people that may or may not show up most of the time no one shows up so i'm just having this stream look all spick and spam all over the damn place for nothing a title that may or may not bring in people and i'm supposed to be talking on a regular basis i do that already because i'm fucking frustrated about life why the hell would i want to do it all over the internet i mean yeah sure i'm talking to myself because there's no one there but what if someone was is there what if i was just broadcasting and i treated like a regular video that's one of the tutorials that i looked up and even then it still doesn't fucking work this is what i mean when i say that twitch is so demanding it's like getting dressed for a party that you personally aren't going to give a shit about and that you're not gonna make any new friends you're not gonna find any love interest you're not just gonna find anything you get nothing there is nothing you lose you get nothing
you lose so at that point you just want to hang up the suit and just go to bed and honestly that's just how i feel it's like after an hour of streaming and no one shows up i'm just gonna call it quits i'm just gonna hit the button lay down and catch up whatever anime that i'm supposed to be catching up on so i buy all this equipment and i get ready for the show and then no one shows up and i'm streaming for like four to six hours and i'm pretty sure a lot of people do that bonus points if they do it for zero people now for those people who just stream it on their own accord who just play the game and yeah more power to you because i think you're just doing something that you rightfully enjoy it would be better if there were some kind of compassionate people whom you could share that experience with but unfortunately that is not always the case and twitch is a big website filled with many people that's just as big as the population on planet earth that i understand but when someone puts in all that hard work who puts down all that money just to buy all of that equipment who knows what they're doing and follows those tutorials down the letter and they still don't get anything out of it that's the problem that i hate more than anything is that it is so demanding to the point where it actually feels like you're about to break out into a depression this is no different than looking for a job because for one you need to make sure that your resume is top notch you need to look presentable for an interview and then you got to bring your end game for the job itself and i'm hearing this all the time it's a fast-paced working environment where you have to satisfy all the criteria. not everyone is built like that but they still need to work regardless they have money to make they have people to support either themselves or others so when i say that twitch is too demanding when it comes to naming your streams having your broadcast look presentable buying all of this equipment that's not going to be smooth sailing not everyone is built the same that's the honest to god truth so for all those people that bring out the barest minimum that's all that they got to work for because that's more money out of their pocket or someone else's pocket just to basically build an office getting a monitor getting a pc getting any sort of capturing device getting a microphone getting everything that they possibly can just to ensure that their broadcast is smooth sailing and there are no promises that it will be smooth sailing and then when the whole thing just collapses guess what it's gonna break out into a depression people are gonna quit and then people are gonna pursue other things in life that might be a good thing that might be a bad thing like i said twitch can either be a blessing or a curse it may encourage you to keep trying or it may encourage you to give up and try something else and hopefully if it does encourage you to give up and try something else and hopefully that something else is going to support you in the long run because it takes a dog's age just to find something that actually fucking works and will benefit you in the long run as it is right now twitch is just exhausting it is the biggest waste of time that i have ever experienced the discoverability is bad the morality is at an all-time low the ads are annoying people are annoying and, or just unredeemable garbage who just bitch and complain about whatever money that they're not getting and then there's shit like the demands that are needed just to ensure that your stream may or may not be successful again you can make it as presentable you can buy all the equipment that you need or want but that is not a guarantee that everything is going to go your way and on a personal standpoint nothing on this website has gone the way that i wanted to i can play whatever of my favorite games my favorite franchises that i could ever want and that still won't be enough either i'm not speed running it or i'm not using mods or it doesn't look cool or whatever i'm just a simple man who plays video games i don't speed run maybe i can do completion route you know i just play the franchises that need a dust off in the first place i don't play any of the popular crap that everyone's playing i don't play fortnite I don't play Fall Guys, I don't play Phantasmagoria, whatever the fuck it's called. No, none of that. I don't play any of those popular trash games, especially when they're free to play. Like, I might play Genshin Impact, and honestly, I do want to play Genshin Impact, it's been a while. But other than that, I can't get into any of these games that people are just raging or raving about like no i can't get into them i have my own preferences and that is not the payoff twitch honestly just needs to be fitting for people who are just like me who don't really go heavy with the free-to-play games who don't really have a backstory to go through they just show up plug in and press the button and just do the job like i said before we're just simple people who are trying to get by on this bitch of an earth either because someone just didn't give us the occupation that we're looking for i.e a job so people have decided to make twitch their job they're using this website to pay rent to pay mortgage to pay for anything that they need just to survive and when the money is not coming in what else can we do just go back and look for work again because that's what's happening right now people like me either have to rely on unemployment benefits until it runs out or they're stuck in their house 
looking for work in their late 20s this is the reality of the situation here people i'm not discouraging anyone from joining twitch you can have at it at your own leisure but take this as a grain of salt that it is not going to be smooth sailing or it is not going to be going down the way you want it to unless you got something to back it up you are going to grow very very slowly and i wish that things were different and i'm pretty sure you wish things were different but the truth of the matter is it isn't twitch is absolutely awful and until there is absolutely something out there that can fix this problem where there is sanity and compassion and even people who don't even have a resume type background just to support themselves for this website that way they can earn all the money that they need twitch is going to remain exactly as the way it is it is a website that is built for the strong and shuns the weak only the strongest shall rule